Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy hump day. I hope you guys are having a good day on this Wednesday. I had a busy day. I was on conference calls a lot today. I'm going to pull you up on my screen while we're waiting for everybody to come in. Hi, Jackie, Julie, welcome. Hello, Sam. Whoops, hang on. We don't need double Kelly sound-wise, right? Uh, and there we go. Okay, we're ready. Hi, Vicki and Julie, welcome. Gerilyn's coming in from Canada. Happy to see you. Sharon is here. So yeah, I had a good day, but I was. I was on the phone constantly today. I had a Zoom conference call um, with my team. We are going to be having a team meeting on Zoom on Sunday. So we, uh, I set up a little test trial run so people can get the bugs worked out and figure out how to make Zoom work on their end so that when our meeting comes along Sunday, we're gonna be ready to roll. I think that'll be really fun. I see Robin and Leanna and Connie coming in. Denise is here. Um, yeah, and then Haley was here most of the day. I don't know. She got here about, uh, it was before noon, I think. And she just left a little while ago. Oh, I have to show you. Let me grab her pages because they are beautiful. She um, finished the second page to her scrapbook page, so I have to show that to you guys. And I think I'll wait until I can turn my camera around so you can see all the details and actually read them. Well, I'll probably read them to you because the print is kind of small, but oh my goodness, they're gorgeous, of course. You saw the first page. And Jackie just figured out how to watch me live on her TV. How big is your TV, Jackie? Because if it's big enough, I can be life size. <laughs> Somebody took a picture one time um, in their in their room, and they took a picture. Their TV was over here, and they're stamping stuff, and I was on the TV, and it was a huge TV. So I was like life size. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's crazy, right? Yeah. So. I got some mail today that I'd like to share with you. I got a card from, hang on a second here. This is from Lori Tibbetts, that's what I thought. And look at how pretty this is. Again, beautiful designer series paper. We've got the Daisy Punch, the Stitch So Sweetly dies. love those. And then the inside of the card, is the designer series paper. So the card base is made out of the designer series paper and I absolutely love this. I think this is just the most brilliant idea. So thank you, Lori. Lori, Lori put in a little note in here and she says, I just wanted to say thanks for doing your lives each day until life goes back to normal. Your suggestion um, of the card using the DSP as cardstock inspired me to use a bunch of it this weekend. Continued success to you as you go for your million dollars in sales. What an accomplishment. Thanks again for the bright spot each day. Stamp on, be well. And she left the card blank for me so I could use it. And look at her envelope. Yeah, we had a decorated envelope too. So that's cool. Love that, Lori. Thank you very much. I also received a card today in the mail from Susan Knaus. Look at how pretty this is with the timeless tulips. Is that not gorgeous? It almost reminds me of Northern Lights, the colors and the black background. So, so pretty. And Sue says, hang on a second. Did I just like do that? I did. You're not supposed to touch your face. I'm like sticking my fingers on my tongue. <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> it says Kelly thank you so much for the little little ladybug stamp set I was so excited to win and I can't wait to create with it you are an inspiration to so many of us you are so full of life and bring so much joy to my life thank you for your daily video I am not quarantined and do go to work every day but your videos are an escape from the daily grind so thank you, Sue. Thank you very much. And this is just gorgeous. I love this card, right? 
I see we've got Melanie and Wendy coming in. I saw Haley pop in. Eileen is here. Karen from Michigan. Thank you for the share, Karen. For those of you that are popping in, if you would like to click on that share button and share my video, I so appreciate that. That always helps me. Helps me grow my business and get out to more people. Hi, Linda, Norma, Chris. We've got everybody coming in. Charlene is here. Sharon. Lots of people on there from Ohio. Lisa just popped in. Hi, Lisa. Kimberly, welcome. Christine, good to have you here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. She, um, and Cynthia says she's been waiting for me. Hello from West Virginia. Hello. <laughs> Kay is on here. She said she's having a hard time getting me lately. And I see Francie's here and Terry's here and Denise is popping in. We've got lots and lots of people joining us. Um, I have a really pretty card to make for you tonight. And um, it's using, let's see, we're going to be combining a couple stamp sets. So first of all, I really wanted to use this Tasteful Texture stamp set. I just love these types of stamp sets. These are good as accompaniment, accompaniment, how do you say that, accompaniments, there we go, um, to use with other sets. And this one happens to come with these fabulous dies called Tasteful Background Dies. So this is kind of a, a set here. And um, Seaside Notions, we're going to pair it up with that and make a really soft and pretty card. I think it's perfect for the kind of cards we need right now to send out to people that we love and appreciate and miss and all those good things. So let's see. Oh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Hello. Um, I happen to have gotten an order in today. You can see right back here, I have tons of door prizey things to give away. Most of those are for my team meeting this weekend. I will be doing drawings and giving those away and mailing them out to my team. We're not going to be meeting in person. It's all going to be virtual. So I have a pack of the Gilded Gems. These are the embellishments that go along with the Ornate Garden Suite that was just released in March. So I'm super, or uh, April, was it April 1st? Heck, I don't even know. It seems like it's been forever ago, but not too long ago. How does that even happen? I'm going to be giving these away. I did a drawing and Vicki Meyer of Forestell, Missouri is the winner of these beautiful gems. I've been using these a ton and they just add so much class to my cards. I love them. So I'll be getting those out in the mail. Let me set that over there so I don't lose it. And then I think we're ready to flip. Joanne just got her dinner started. I haven't eaten yet. Oh, she's having baby back ribs and homemade potato something at cut off. But, oh, Nancy sent out 18 cards today. Good for you. Diana wants to know how I am doing. I am doing fine. So, um, and Haley is, did not have a baby yet, but I, she's getting closer. I mean, obviously, we know her due date's the 20th, and they're going to induce her on the 27th if she doesn't have the baby. But I really think that she's gonna have that baby like any second. Yeah, Haley, I have your second page here. I already showed everybody your first page, I think. Yeah, I did, I, I think. Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't show it. Maybe I just think I did. Anyways, I've got two pages, two scrapbook pages to show you. So yeah, um, Haley is getting closer and closer. Like she's getting more uncomfortable and um, She's right there. She's right there with that baby. And today is my mom's birthday. My mom is 75 today. And Haley would love to be able to have that baby today on her birthday. That would be such a gift. And kind of a funny little story. Well, it's not funny. It's very cool. Um, Haley was born on my dad's birthday. So Haley has a July 1st birthday. And that was my dad's birthday also. So they've always had this really special bond and celebrated their birthdays together. And we sure miss him, but we celebrate him every year on Haley's birthday now. So it would be awesome if Weedley could be born on April 15th, today, tax day, which by the way, I still haven't touched my taxes. Oh Lord, I need to get them done. I know they're not due now till July, but let's not drag out the pain of all of that. I just want to get them over with. I want to have my good cry and how much money I'm going to have to pay and move on with life. <laughs> Thank you, Susan.
Susan for wishing my mom a happy birthday. That's so sweet. I did um, Snapchat singing to her this morning. And I used the filter with the little pigtails and the white glasses. And little. I think it has the little buck teeth in the front that's so cute. And the goofy little voice. And I sang her happy birthday. And in my song, I made up lyrics to the fact that the coronavirus is going on. And I can't see her, but I can't wait to see her. And <laughs> it was, believe me. It was funny. I also ordered flowers and a balloon and chocolates and had them sent to her. She got them today. So she was pretty surprised and happy. And I don't think she's on here tonight. Sometimes she watches me, but I got her a pair of those air cushion sketcher tennis shoes. I think she's going to love them. So, and um, Terry sent her her unwind because you can't send wine through the mail. <laughs> But Terry was gonna send her a little bottle of wine and in a in a um a, a little container that she made out of paper that's very cool. I think I might I do. Look at this might not be exactly like Terry's, but my um friend Sarah, who's on here tonight watching, she made this for me and I still have it over here on my shelf. But it's got a little bottle of wine in it. It's the cutest little thing, right? Yeah. So Terry sent my mom um some type of a wine bottle. But she filled it with candy when the post office told her she couldn't send the wine. Way to wreck all the fun, fun wreckers. Well, I know there's rules and regulations and they have to follow them. So, anyways, did you see me just touching my face again? Yeah, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Somebody asked how I'm doing. I'm doing just fine. Haley and I went for a drive today. We're allowed to do that here in Wisconsin. And we didn't stop any place. We just jumped in the car and we drove south. And we headed over by the lake. We have a great, great big lake here just down the street. It's Lake Winnebago. And we headed down by the lake and um, just drove around looking at the beautiful lake homes, right? Yeah, there's something else. So that's what we did today, just to get out of the house for a few minutes. And it was nice. We were a little rushed because I had to be back at 3 o'clock for another conference call. <laughs> like, I was on conference calls all day long. But um, maybe tomorrow we can... I don't have any conference calls tomorrow. Maybe we can go do something again. Yeah, Deb, Deb says, it seems like I never touched my face till they told me I couldn't touch my face. I know what you mean because now you're aware when you do it and you're like, oh, I shouldn't be doing that. How is Haley doing with the glasses? Did you find anything? Um, yes, she actually finally got through to the eye doctor to get her prescription and she ordered some glasses online and asked if they would please like express them. And we'll see, who knows. Probably not, but I hope they do. I did get her glasses glued back together, by the way. I don't know if I told you guys that. But um, they broke, like, right here and right here. Like, the frames broke and the lens fell out. I couldn't get the plastic to plastic to, to bond, but I put glue right inside here, and I stuck that lens in there and pushed the glasses together, and the plastic would stick to the glass with the glue. So, yeah. <laughs> Teresa says rules are made to be broken, especially during this time, right? How fun would it have been for my mom to get a bottle, a little bottle of wine in the mail? That would have been super cool. And it was very, very thoughtful. So thank you, Terry. My mom, I'm sure, was absolutely thrilled. And I think we're ready to flip around. Arla says her screen is freezing up again. Aw, seems like it is when I hit the share button. Oh, that's odd, Arliss, that it would do that when you hit the share button. I'm sorry that's happening to you. Marilyn says when she was a child, she stayed at a cabin on Lake Winnebago. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty decent lake, right? It's a huge lake. It's very, very big. So how come when they tell you not to do something, you want to do it? I think it's like just human nature, right? You never noticed it before, but now everybody's got to be touching their face. And I do it too, but I think before when I went like this, I didn't think about it. And now I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be touching my face, but I'm not going anyplace. I didn't go anywhere where I could be exposed to any cooties. And so eh, I think we'll be okay. Um, I think we're ready to flip around and get busy. I want to show you these scrapbook pages. They're absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Donna Gray. I'm happy to see you here. And Linda says, hey, try black electrical tape. I know I wanted to do that, but if it would have been broken here, something that would have worked, but the lens wouldn't fit in if we would have taped this part and this part down here. So I know I thought we can electrical tape it because that's a thing from my day, right? But it wouldn't have worked. 
All right, close your eyes. I'm going to flip the camera around. We are going to the desktop. Oh, by the way, you guys, I wanted to let you know that I did change my host code today. And I can't remember, somebody messaged me today and said, I can't get the host code to work for my order. And then I went, oh, shoot, I forgot to put the new code out there. So I closed the other one down. I had to get my order in for all of my kits for my April best dress, dress to impress kits. So I closed it down. Here's a brand new host code. If anybody would like to place an order and your order is under $150, please use this code. If your order is over $150, do not use the code. You're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! I definitely want you to have those. Are you ready for scrapbook pages, you guys? I am so ready to show these to you because they are just phenomenal. All right, here comes scrapbooking page numero uno. Look at this, look at that little belly. Well, it's not very little, it's quite large. There's my granddaughter. Can you see her? <laughs> Yeah, so this was from Haley's Shower, and everything was a wood grain, woodsy, um, like baby animals theme. Look at all those details. We've got the welcome baby in the gold right here. Look at the flowers are just so, so pretty. She just pulled a whole bunch of dies and punches out. There's those gilded gems, those gold gilded gems. There's another one right over here and some pearls. I love how she mixes things. I never think to do stuff like that. So this is Jared and that's Jared's mom. This is Steve, of course you've met him. And that's me, of course you know that, with Haley in the middle. And then it says the world is full of miracles and none so precious as the one, as the one on the way to you. And then again, some more really pretty flowers. And then we have page numero two. Look at this. So we have Jared and Jared's sister, Allie, here. And some really cute little butterflies, more flowers. Here's um, my side of the family, my mom. And that's my stepdaughter, Anna, and my stepdaughter, Stephanie. And then Andy and Molly belong to Anna. You've seen um, Molly, I think. You've seen her before. And then at the shower, I went around and took pictures of all the tables. So I asked the people to look this way, and I snapped a picture of all the people that were there. So these are all Haley's camp friends and high school friend. This is some of Jared's relatives. These are some friends. Haley worked with Tina. And then here's Sarah. She's on here. And Kathy Miller, Destiny, Rachel. Then this is my husband's family, his mom and sisters. And then we've got Anna and my friend Terry, my sister-in-law Barb, and um, Andy there. But again, look at all the beautiful little embellishments on here. And it says, people hope you get mom's hair and dad's demeanor. Jared is very laid back and sweet. Not that Haley's not sweet, but he's very laid back. Food, the food at the shower was pasta from Victoria's and lots of desserts. Um, I, I organized it and Jared's mom organized it and Sarah was huge. She was like our party go-to person. She helped with it. I was so grateful for her. It was held at the Appleton Yacht Club and it was March 1st. So there you go. Two absolutely gorgeous pages. And now Haley told me today she only has one more set of pages left before she's ready for baby pictures. So... I'm pretty excited about that and we talked a little bit about the zoom account that I just set up um, I, I purchased a, a zoom account so that I can do my team meeting on Sunday through zoom and I think we might use it to um, do video of the baby when she's born so that Jared's parents can be involved and Steve and I can you know see the baby and everything because we're not allowed to go to the hospital at all at this point, they're still allowing the spouses in with um, expectant mothers, so um, I'm pretty sure that Jared is going to be there. He's got his bag packed. The only thing is they can't leave the hospital. Once they get there, they have to stay there until mom and baby go home. So I think that's a pretty good plan, and I'm just grateful that that's going to happen. Okay. Thank you, Haley, for sharing that with us because like, it's so very cool. Now, 
I've got a very pretty card to share with you tonight. We are going to be using Coastal Cabana. And this is a regular card base. It's five and a half by eight and a half. And let me keep scrolling my screen here. I'm going to get this folded and burnish that edge good. There we go. I've got an envelope here so we can decorate that nicely. Then I've got two pieces of Whisper White. These are both four by five and a quarter, nothing fancy there. A scrap of Whisper White. I've got two strips of Coastal Cabana. The smaller one is three eighths and the bigger one is three quarters. And then we're gonna trim them to the size that we need. I've got a stitched shape circle. This is the second to largest in our stitch shape dies. And a half inch by five and a quarter inch strip of basic gray. Okay, let me figure out what we're gonna do first here. I think one of the first things I'm gonna do, like I said, we're using the Tasteful Textures stamp set and then we've got the Tasteful Background dies. And I love these dies. So I decided that I wanted to die cut each one of these so you can see how cool they are, first of all. I just think that they're, I love these types of elements. You can do so many different things with them. Let me, I'm gonna put this over here, but I'm gonna set a block under it so that it doesn't get um, glare at you. I hate that. Let me grab my big shot. Here comes the beast. And I'm gonna get this blue plate out of here because we don't need that. Bring in my thin die adapter, my cutting plate, and then I've just got some scraps over here of Whisper White so that I could cut these elements out for you to so you can see what they look like when they're die cut, because that always is a little like kind of an eye opener, I think. Now these are kind of intricate, so I'm gonna roll them up and roll them back. I'm gonna grab my die brush here. And set that right in here. Do a little brushing. Everything's gonna fall out. Yay! Life is good. Look how pretty that is. It's just gorgeous, right? I and again, there's so many different things you could do with this. Then we've got get all these bits off of here. Then we've got this one, which is also very pretty. Oh, I have to tell you guys, look at my darn fingernail. I bent it all the way up to here. I bent it backwards. My nails are horrendous, but I bent it backwards today. I changed the, the bedding on our bed and putting all that back under there and pulling on it to get it underneath the mattress and pulling on it. And it like bent my fingernail back because they're so terrible. And I thought, oh my Lord, this is dangerous. I am not doing the bedding anymore. <laughs> I can't wait for Steve to come in the house so I can tell him that revelation. <laughs> that it's too dangerous for me to do it. It hurt really bad. <laughs> I am not going to lie. I'm not sugarcoating that. It, it was painful. But I bent it backwards all the way up to here. And you can see it's got kind of a mark on it. Anywho, look at that. They all just fell out. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that cool? Yeah, these dies are really neat. So, these were just samples Oh, look at all the little petals. That could be kind of interesting, too. I like the looks of those. You know, we always kind of like, oh, what could I do with that? I'm going to set that aside. We're actually going to use, let me put this back. Where's, here's my envelope. We're actually going to use the one with the little daisies. So we're going to use this one. And I've got a piece of cardstock here. This is just, a, again, a scrap. Oh, let me think about this. Nope, this isn't what I'm going to do that on. I am going to do it on one of our bigger white pieces. I almost messed up. So we're going to do it on this piece right here. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it eh, right about here. And we're going to die cut that. And again, I'm going to go up and back. And look at look at how all the pieces just pretty much fall right out of there. 
There's nothing left. I love dyes like that. And look how pretty that is. Right? Okay, so what are we going to do with this? Well, hang tight. Let me get this out of the way. Get my little mess cleaned up here. Ooh, we got a lot of static cling tonight. So yeah, I was doing my laundry today because I'm almost out of underwear. <laughs> I know I've told you guys this before, but I have a lot of underwear. And when I start running really low, it's time to do my laundry. So I was working on that on and off all day. And I thought, well, as long as I'm going to do my laundry, I might as well wash all the bedding, right? Yeah. And that's how the domino effect happens for us, isn't it? Like, there's never, you can't just do one thing. It's, it, it turns into five million other little things. Okay, let me put this away. And I'm going to bring this in here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Get out my piercing mat. This is what I like to stamp on. Now, that little white piece that's right here, I'm going to take this image, and it's just like some scratchy looking lines, and our basic gray ink pad. This scrap right here is going to go under our flowers. So all we're going to do is just kind of stamp this across our page. And it doesn't need to be anything fancy. It doesn't even really need to be that straight, I guess, because you're not going to see that much of it. But I just want to make sure that I have it all scratchied up. And this is what's going to go over it. Okay, so that's kind of pretty cool, right? And I'm going to add some dimensionals to that so that you can really see the dimension under there. If you put it down like this, it looks neat, but when you pick it up a little bit, it just looks better. You get um, an effect that I really like. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals. And these are edges because I gave Haley my last sheet of dimensionals today. I just put a big order in and I have no more large dimensionals other than the ones that I just gave her. So that's great. <laughs> it's like, really, Kelly? Yeah. Okay, that's going to work just fine. So let me get my take your pick tool here to help me with my decrepit fingernails. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to come up here and put that on here, just like that. Okay, super easy, right? Now, we're going to add that strip of basic gray here. And I'm just going to put this right about here. Uh, where'd my liquid glue go? Anybody see my glue? Here it is. What are you guys drinking tonight? I got the same old boring stuff, you know. Strawberry lemonade. But I like it. <laughs> so Candy says her husband jokes that she doesn't do the laundry until she's almost out of underwear. Well, what's the point? <laughs> yeah, I'm like that too. I start running out of clothes. That's when I do. I, and I, I went to grab some jeans today and realized that my favorite ones are both dirty. So I thought, eh, I better do the laundry. Underwear, jeans, yep. And I have like 5 million pairs of socks in there too. So, yeah. I have a lot. I have quite a bit. I have a lot of underwear. Trust me. Okay, there we go. I just have like a basic gray half inch stripe here. Then we're going to take these little strips. And I decided, well, I didn't decide. I'll show you where I got this when I'm done. I'm going to just use the thanks. That's what I want in here. So... I'm going to bring in my basic gray stamp and write marker and we're going to see how many times I have to stamp this to get it straight. Let's see if hump day is going to be good to me today. And I've got that all colored. Make sure you don't get ink on anything else here. And then before I stamp it, I like to huff on it like you're huffing on your glasses to clean them. And then I'm just going to stamp it right there. Oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> Yay. Okay, next I'm going to take my snips. And I'm just going to kind of put that in the center of this little piece. And then I'm going to do a banner. And I'm going to make a shallow banner here. 
meaning that it's not going, that B isn't going real deep into the middle, and it's completely up to you. But I'm going to put another banner behind this that's going to have a little bit deeper. There we go. Okay, so we've got that going on, and these literally were scraps. I mean, that's what they were. Now, I'm going to take my liquid glue, which is over here. I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here. And this is my 3 8 inch scrap. And I'm just going to center this right on there. And this is just kind of an interesting look. This is a way that you can make your cards a little bit more spectacular by just using some scraps. And we're going to do this and this just like that. They don't have to be perfect. If you want perfection, buy a Hallmark. That's not what we're about, okay? So we've got that going on. I'm going to add some dimensional pieces to the back of that. Let me get rid of all these. I've got dimen little dimensional bits all over the house. I need to vacuum. I did, in my defense, vacuum the other day. Steve says I don't do anything around here, but I do things once in a while when he doesn't. <laughs> I'm kind of like that. And then I remind him that for 20 years I was the only one doing anything around the house. So, And then he goes, oh, you're going to bring that up again? Yep. As long as you're pushing the card on it, I am. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to add it right to the front. Now, we've got dimensionals under this layer right here. So I'm just going to put some dimensionals around this outside layer to keep everything on the up and up and even. Oh, I think I already did these sides. Yep, there we go. These are some pretty big dimensionals when you cut the edges on these mini. These are the mini dimensional sheets. I kind of like it. It's pretty substantial. Oh, that didn't work out. Um, let me get some of these cut. All right, here we go. Here comes some more over here. And, and one more down here. Okay. Pick the back off. I know, Cindy says since he is retired, he should do more housework, and you're absolutely right. And he does, but he is not a good house cleaner. We've talked about this, um, all of us have, that he is not a good house cleaner. He's an angry house cleaner. Like if he has to vacuum, he's like very like cranky about it. So I actually got a lady to come and clean our house every other week because... Steve hates it, and he doesn't even complain that we have to leave the house for several hours. But, of course, that's over. Because with the social distancing, I'm not having her here as long as Haley and the baby and the whole thing, you know. So, yeah. So we have to clean. I have to clean. <laughs> it's not the worst thing in the world. I can handle it. All right. Now, um, I've got this inside layer here. And I think what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to take this cute little sand dollar and I'm just going to add that right down here. And then, oh, I forgot to get out the little um, sandy bits. So let's get the little sandy bits out. Now, earlier I grabbed some of my blocks and they were filthy. Can you see how filthy these blocks are? They have sticky stuff all over them. So I thought, well, maybe some people don't know how to do this. I'll show you how to clean this. This is rubbing alcohol. It doesn't matter what um, strength, as far as I am concerned. It's not a, not a big deal. But I take that and I just rub with the cotton ball and clean off my blocks. And this gets them really nice and clean. They look like brand new again. I love it. So I got something sticky right there. There's some more sticky right there. Sometimes you got to rub on them pretty good if you got like a glue dot stuck, which is what I think I have right there. Okay. And then if you want to use them right away, just wipe them off so they're dry. This one also is filthy. And, ooh, that alcohol smells good. <laughs> That's a really bad sign, you guys. Rubbing alcohol is smelling pretty good. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah. Okay. There's something goopy on the end there. There we go. I think we got it. And then I'm just going to wipe it off. And now I can put my stamps on here. But isn't that 
sweet. Yeah. So you got to clean them once in a while. I don't know if I want this full strength. I think I don't want it full strength. So I'm going to stamp off once and then I am going to kind of put some little bits down here. And again, stamp off once, add some little bits, just that little bit. <laughs> little bits with the little bits. Okay, so this is going to be the inside of our card. We might as well get that in there right now. Oops, I just got glue on the front of my card. That's not what I wanted. We'll just add that to the inside. Okay, there we go. Now, um, I have some watercolor paper here. Don't want to lose all these little bits and pieces. These go with our with our card. So this is our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. And I also brought out my Stazon ink because I want to do a little bit of watercoloring. So you need a permanent ink. Stazon works really good for that. And of course, this isn't a soft ink pad like our regular pads. So I'm pushing in it pretty good for anybody who has not used it and doesn't know that. And then you want to push really hard on watercolor paper because it's very porous. And oftentimes, if I have trouble getting a good image stamped on the watercolor paper, I will bring in my um, Stamparatus. And I will put my stamp on here and put my paper in here and hold it down with a magnet so I can stamp it and ink it and stamp it and ink it a couple times if need be. So I got that out just in case. But this image does look really good. Then I'm going to stamp one of the shells. That looks good too. And the um, sand dollar. I can remember going someplace with my father and we used to find sand dollars and I, when I was a kid. And you know when you crack them open, little pieces fall out that look like little doves. It was a cool thing when I was a child. All right. Then I'm going to take the, um, what is this called? Uh, the reef? Uh, hmm. Coral. The coral. I'm going to take the coral and I'm going to ink that in the gray. And I'm going to stamp that right on my stitched circle. Then I'm going to bring in my aqua painter. Sometimes my aqua painters are a little too wet, so I just dry them off a little bit on a tissue to get the right amount. Now, I am coming in here and coloring this, and it's making my ink bleed just a little bit, and that's the look that I'm looking for. I don't want something real dark. If you wanted to add some more ink to your aqua painter, you certainly could. And to clean it off, you just brush it back and forth. So that's what I have so far right here. Then I'm going to bring in my watercolor paper and we're going to do a little bit of watercoloring. Now if you have watercolor pencils you can use those. I'm going to be using the ink. Let me set this off to the side. I've got Bermuda Bay here, Pool Party, and Coastal Cabana. And then I have all these little blocks and this is how I like to grab my ink. So I've got Bermuda Bay, Coastal Cabana, Pool Party. And I'm going to grab a smaller. This is the big brush from the Aqua Painter. This is a smaller brush. I'm going to use the smaller one. I just feel like I have more control over it. And I've got to get that, whoops, there we go, water coming out of there. There we go. Okay, and I always have a tissue nearby. So I think what I'm going to do is start with my darkest color here. It's kind of the way that I like to do my, um, there we go. I like to do my blenders too, as I always kind of start with the darkest one. And the watercolor paper really allows you to blend blend your colors. Now, you don't have to be super careful with this because guess what? We are going to cut it out. So, you can swish it back and forth on here. 
You can rub it on your tissue. Now I'm going to bring in the next color. Just a little bit of the Coastal Cabana. And then I'm going to come in with the lightest color, which is our Pool Party. There we go. And you just got the three colors in there. It's a nice little variation. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that pool party. Now, if you need more ink on your block, you just dip it in your ink pad again. You could use a bigger block depending on how much ink you need. And then I'm just going to come in here, kind of do the outside edges a little bit here. And that's about it. Don't get too carried away with it. You don't need to do too much. I want it to look watercolory. I don't want it to be perfect. And then last but not least, I'm going to grab a little bit of gray here. So I cleaned this off. I'm going to put that in the basic gray. Grab a little bit of gray. And I'm just going to come in and do a little bit on here. And again, this, I want this to be watercolory. I don't want it to be perfect. And I think that looks pretty cool. I mean, that's what a shell would look like. It wouldn't be real solid and perfect. It would be kind of weird looking like that. <laughs> now I'm just going to come in here and blend this a little bit. I don't like that dark spot on there. Okay, I think that looks really good. Now, I did not prepare this stuff ahead of time. So I thought we will get to spend some quality time together tonight while I do a little fussy cutting. And while I'm doing fussy cutting, I would like to know what you guys, I know somebody had ribs tonight, what did you have for supper? What was on your menu for supper? Steve made um, shrimp stir fry and we even had some fresh lemons that my friend Denise brought back from Arizona when she came home, I think last week, I think it was last week, and Steve actually used the zest. First time he's ever zested, so that was fancy. <laughs> he used the lemon peel for a zest in the, um, stir, the shrimp stir fry that he made, and he brought it in here so Haley and I could try it, and of course it's got all kinds of green peppers and red peppers and all kinds of things in it, mushrooms, which all stuff Haley hates. But she did taste, she did grab a shrimp out of the bowl, and then she wanted shrimp for lunch. And we couldn't find any place that was open that made shrimp. So she had pizza instead. Remember I told you the story about how she said, oh, doesn't that pizza look good? And I said, oh, my Lord, no, it looks terrible because all it's got is cheese on it. And it's a travesty to eat a pizza without anything but cheese on it. <laughs> I know. Just hammer it away. Tonight... She grabbed dinner from Solea, which is our Mexican grill right over here on the other side of the park from me. And um, she was having a cheese quesadilla. And again, what a shame. But that's what she likes. So it's a long ways from a PB&J, and I'm happy to see her eating other things. <laughs> right, Haley? Yeah. Jared's going to be cooking when the baby's born. Jared is a very good cook. Not that Haley isn't, but Jared likes to eat more food. <laughs> I think that's a pretty safe way to say it. He likes to eat a little bit. He has got a little bit more variety in his food tastes. And he has turned out to be a very good cook. And he spoils Haley to death. So, just the way I like it. Spoiling my baby girl. All right, see how I, some people have a hard time cutting stuff out, and I get it if you have like hand trimmers or your fingers don't work that good, but one of the easiest and best tips I've ever gotten on cutting things out is to move your paper. Instead of your scissors like this, you just hold, kind of hold your hand in one place with your scissors, and then you just move your paper around. Now I'm wiggling my hand, but you saw what I was doing. Just move your paper around, and it just seems to be easier to cut things out that way. 
And now, this is the tricky part. Yeah, and we don't have dies for this set, but this is a good thing. Stamp them up, color them up, and sit in front of the TV and cut them out. I don't mind doing stuff like this. It's kind of mindless. And, you know, I could stamp and color a bunch of these and just sit and cut them out. And don't, let, don't let your husband cut them out, though, because I can guarantee you that won't go well. <laughs> I let Steve cut out these little elephants one time, and I thought, oh, he can handle that. Nope. Nope, he can't. <laughs> they were a disaster. I had to throw most of them away. And he goes, well, my fingers are big, and they don't fit in those dumb little scissors. And I'm like, yep, I totally get it, and I'm sorry. I should not have given him something so delicate. <laughs> but I thought, well, he can cut some baby elephants out, can he? Nope. <laughs> And there's lots of things I can't do, so don't think that I'm just, like, hammering on everybody tonight, which I kind of sound like I am, aren't I? Hammering on Haley for eating. Hammering on Steve because he's got fat fingers. Oh, he doesn't have fat fingers. He's got man hands. Oh, my gosh, look how cute that is, you guys. It is totally worth it. Okay, so I have everything cut out here. Let me get this out of the way now. The other thing that I really wanted to do... I have not used Dazzling Diamonds Glitter in forever, so I decided we're going to put some glitter on our little pieces here. And here we go. I'm just going to take my, get some glue coming out, there we go, and I'm just going to put some glue right down the edge of my little seahorse. And then maybe just a little bit right on that fin. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Here's our Dazzling Diamonds Glitter. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. Like that really does it for me, right? I just think that is adorable. Do we want to do some on this? Should we do some on our sandal? Or let's see how good I can do. Oh, I just got a big glob. That's not good. We'll see. I might have just ruined the whole thing. Nope, I don't think I did. That looks pretty cool. Okay, as long as we're doing some glitter, I'm going to do just... Oh, hang on. It's dripping a little bit. I'm going to do just a little bit right there. That'll be perfect. I don't want to glob it all on there. I just want a little bit. Look at all that little bling. It's iridescent. It's so, so pretty. So this is Dazzling Diamonds Glitter, and you use it with um, pretty much any kind of ink. Our fine tip glue pen works really good. The one thing is you don't want to leave this sit open for very long. Here, let me, I see that I've got some some dried glue up here let me get that off with my nasty fingernails but um you want to put the lid on it you can't leave this sit open all day and expect it to be okay but you just put the little pin back in there mm, these are so cute okay now we're going to get out our mini dimensionals and we're going to add all of these things to our card front so i've got couple here for my shell and a couple for my sand dollar and let's get our seahorse get our seahorse mounted up and ready to roll here let's see if I can can I fit another one nope I'm gonna have to cut this one because I need something really little down there on the bottom of his little tail so how many of you went and watched the um, Tiger King after I was talking about it? Uh, I actually finished watching it last night. It is horrendous. It is so bad. But like we all said, it's like a train wreck. You just can't look away from it. It's so weird. Okay, where'd my card go? Do you guys see it here anyplace? I know I said it somewhere. Nope, oh, my card, it's just missing. Oh, here it is. Okay, I found it. All right, so we're going to take this. I am going to put some dimensionals on the back of that. Oh, here they are. 
So I'm just going to put some of these big pieces on the back here. Oh, look at my fingernails are working again. Okay, so this is going to go right over here, just like that. And then I'm going to bring in my little seahorse. Oops, I gotta stick that down a little better. There we go. And we're gonna bring that in right here. Oh, I love this. I love, love, love it. It's so pretty. And then the sand dollar. Oops, let me get the back off of that. We're gonna put that right down here. And our little shell. Our little shell right here. And then here comes our thanks banner. Oh, I should have stamped my... I have a sentiment for the inside and I didn't put it on first. I should have done that. So I am going to kind of push this in here. And then I'm going to slide it right down here, get it straight with my gray banner. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Okay, hang on. I'm not done yet. I think I want some clear rhinestones. So let's get our take your pick tool out here. And we're going to maybe get a little cooperation here. There we go. We're going to put... Oh my goodness. There we go. Some clear rhinestones on here. And how about another one right there? Look at how pretty that is. I love this. Now, do I dare stamp the sentiment on the inside that I didn't put on? Oh Lord, we're going to try. Let me see first. Let's see if this is straight. I like to kind of stamp it on here to see is it mounted on my block straight because this could really be a game changer. It could wreck everything, right? Here we go. Hold your breath. Oh, I did it. Yay! Okay, it says, thanks. You're one of those people who make my life better just by being in it. And isn't that sweet? I hope you guys can see the um, glitter, the Dazzling Diamonds glitter on these three elements. It like really makes it for me. Like it really makes it pretty. Now we have to do something. Let's do um, a little, let's do a little sand dollar on the front just to decorate our envelope a touch. I use Stays On Ink. And then I'm going to bring in, I think this is the Coastal Cabana. Let's make sure I have this cleaned off. Where's my napkin again? There we go. And I'm just going to add a little bit around the edges. Nothing fancy, nothing perfect, just like that. Like it's not anything fabulous. It's just a little bit of color. And there we go. Here is our thanks card with our cute little envelope. And again, I'm using the Seaside Notions, which is all the little um, sea creature-y things. And then I use the Tasteful Textures is the die and the little lines that are behind my flowers. This is just a great stamp set for all of those textures and elements to use alongside another stamp set. And I got this right out of the Stampin' Up! catalog, you guys. I saw, I was looking through the catalog going, what am I going to make for Facebook Live tonight? And I told Haley, I'm like, I have always loved this card in the catalog. It's right here. There's two more ideas of what they did with this um, bundle. You can buy the Tasteful Textures and the Tasteful Backgrounds together for a 10% discount. But I've always wanted to make that card, and it looks so much prettier in real life. I absolutely love this. Yeah, so if you'd like to order any of these products from me, I always appreciate your orders. Please use that host code if your order's under $150.
If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have and use those. Let me clean off my aqua painter here. Make sure I got all the color out of it before I put it away. And now, oh, oh no, that's not my lid. This is my lid for my Take Your Pick tool. I don't know where my lid went. I'll find it. But I got all these bits and pieces, and I got a real mess going on here, don't I? Yeah, let me get this cleaned up. So, if anybody would like to order any of these products from me, I always appreciate your orders. I'm going to flip you around now so I'm not talking to the back of your head. Hang on. Here we go. I'm still here. You guys are still here, too. Yay! I know, right? Lisa said, Patty says she loves the card. Lisa says she loves the card. Roxanne says she loves the card. It is so pretty, and I think you can see that glitter. That just really does it for me. I know the seahorse is really cute, isn't it? This would make a great baby card, too. It's It looks like a little baby animal. You could use it for baby. You could use it for get well. It'll brighten anybody's day. But, yeah, and then just that little sand dollar on the envelope. And then, of course, here's the inside little sand dollar on there. Maybe I'll put a little color. Why not, right? I've still got color out here. Let me get a little color on this little sand dollar. Oh, maybe that wasn't a really good idea. I need more water. There we go. Okay, I got it bleeding a little bit now. That's what I wanted. That looks pretty now. I think I grabbed the Bermuda ink instead of the Coastal. So I'm like, oh, that's too dark. But I think it turned out fine. Okay, very pretty. Are there any questions, you guys, that I missed? Because I can't stamp and answer all the questions. <laughs> At the same time, I am just not that. I'm not that talented at all. <clears throat> Thank you, guys. I see all the nice comments coming in. I know. It's beautiful. It was designed by the concept artists that Stampin' Up. They're really good, aren't they? <laughs> but it just is so much better to see it in real life, right? Because, yeah, real life. I mean, it's pretty in here. This is pretty. But it's not nearly as cute as this. Like, that is really, really cute. I know. Yeah. So, <laughs> Marion says, that is so pretty. More sets I need now. I know. So, I have some other cards. I actually, um, I think that the Seaside Notions was... It was a stamp set that I used for an exclusive video tutorial with the Stamping Society. I made some really pretty cards, and I think it was a technique tutorial. So if anybody orders the Seaside Notions from me, I will go find that tutorial, and I will send it to you. It actually has six different videos in it. I used the stamp set. I don't think anybody else did, but I used the stamp set. So, um, and I can't even remember what I made, but I know they were really, really pretty. So if anybody wants to order this, I'm happy to send you that as a gift in a PDF file. The Tasteful Textures, again, very, very pretty. Um, great. You could stamp this on the background. That would be really pretty. And then again, we have the dies that go with it that coordinate. Where's my other one? No, oh, I don't know what happened to it. I lost it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I lost it already. Yeah. So you have the stamps and then the dies. And this just is kind of a shabby chic look to me. That's what I get out of it. It's just kind of that old shabby chic worn look that I really love. So there. Yeah, the glitter. Charlene says the glitter takes it up a notch. It does, right? I love the glitter. And you can make a lot of really cute stamp sets. Now this is a little more elegant. This is can be elegant, but it's also very cute. Get the both the best of both worlds there. So there we go. Hi Bev. I tried to connect with Bev today. That wasn't happening. I said I was on so many conference calls today. It was crazy. But um, yeah, thanks you guys. I think I need to go eat now. But um, how are you guys doing? Is everybody okay? I know we've been hearing some rumblings about this social distancing thing needing to be 
extended. That is, I know I'm like, la, 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 la. I do not want to hear that. I do not want to hear that. Sue is asking if that special glue for the glitter, this is just our fine tipped glue pen. It works great because it's very fine. You can scribble out a very fine line. Um, you can use any type of glue that you would use with any other type of glitter for the dazzling um, diamonds glitter. Anything would work, but that's called fine tip glue pen. If you go to my store, if you're looking for some, if you go to my store, you're going to find it. When you type in fine tip, it'll come right up. I'm just cleaning off all my blocks now from the ink that I had on them. Cleaning up my stamps so I can put stuff away. I've got to do a couple videos tonight. I've been working on my ornate garden videos. If you guys are interested in an online class, I will be cutting cardstock, pre-cut cardstock packs are available with the class if you choose them. You can also order the bundle and get it free and the online class is free and the pre-cut cardstock is an extra bonus. But yeah, I, I'm going to be working on some more videos. I got all the videos shot. I just have to edit them and upload them to YouTube and get all the links in and all the things that nobody ever thinks about that are like, Argh. yeah, that's not the funnest part, but it's okay. All right, Survivor, what did I just see? Survivor is starting. Oh, good for you. Haley and Jared watch Survivor too. So you watch Survivor. I'm done. I'm just looking at comments coming in, hoping you guys are doing good. Keep your chin up. We have to stick together. We're in this together. We need to get all this cootie stuff out of the way. Thank you to all our essential workers. I know some of you are going to work every day yet. And um, I don't know what we'd do without you. You're keeping kind of our country going right now. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, whether you're in the medical industry or working at one of our stores that we need open. We appreciate it. All right, I'm going to sign off, let you guys go so I can go eat. I'm going to go have some shrimp stir fry. Yeah. Have a good night, you guys. Um, yeah, let's go, baby Fink. Let's have that baby, Haley. Get on it. Today I went over some rough roads. And she's like, can you go over those railroad tracks again? <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Our roads are horrendous here in Wisconsin, as they are every every spring and then they fix them and then they're fine until the next spring but I was trying to jiggle that baby out of there yeah <laughs> all right I am going to let you go have a great night I will see you back here again tomorrow bye-bye you guys thank you so much